Hi, we randomized a target group and assigned people from the target group to the program group or to the control group. So this was completely randomly done by, for example, flipping a coin. That's the core of a randomized control trial. But we want to find out what is the causal effect of a treatment, whatever it is, the causal effect of a treatment for the program group in comparison to a control group which was denied access to the treatment. So that's the core. And our intellectual logical problem is that we cannot observe the program group uh, had the program group participants not participated in the, in the program. That's our logical problem. So what we cannot observe is the so-called counterfactual behavior of the program group and in expected values it looks like that. So what we cannot observe is the expected value of the outcome variable or the mean outcome of the program group had they not participated. Y0 stands for the outcome in case of, of non-participation. So it's about the mean outcome of the program group. So D is set to one that's the program group, right? We talk about the program group. And Y0 is now the outcome of the program group to be even more precise, the mean outcome, the average outcome here of the program group participants had they not participated in the program. That's the complicated thing, right? So this here is the mean outcome of the program group had the participants had the participants not participated, not participated in the program. That's the complicated thing. So this in red is the non-observable counterfactual behavior of the program group participants. What we cannot observe for the control group, and now it's, it's easier, well, uh, because you're now already a little familiar about, uh, with the thinking here. So what we cannot observe is the counterfactual behavior, why one stands for the mean outcome in case of participation. But these guys do not participate, right? So it's the mean outcome in case of participation for the control group members. D is set to zero. So we talk about the control group members, right? So it's the mean outcome. Once again, the mean outcome or average outcome of the control group in case of participation. That's what we cannot observe. So you see, you can also say, well, this is the potential outcome of the program group had the program group participants not participated in the program. And this is the potential outcome, the hypothetical outcome of the control group members had they participated in the program. That's the logic. That's not easy to grasp. You have to think about that.